Good morning friends, I am Ashish Agarwal from Team NGO Enabler and today in this video we will discuss an old circular which though was released by the GST department but is related to charitable organizations. Yes, you heard it right. This circular which was released on 11th October 2019 provides clarity on levy of GST when publicity is given to the donor. You all must have seen at various places, more commonly in religious places, that there is a display of name or even name plates of the donor who must have donated or gifted that particular object or funds for the same. Many considered it as if publicity is being given to the donor and was deemed as if indirectly it's a type of advertisement services being given by such charitable organizations to its donor. To stop such baseless speculations and confusions, the issue was examined and was very well brought out in the circular released by the GST department. It said that the recipient institutions place a nameplate or similar such acknowledgement in their premises to express the gratitude. When the name of the donor is displayed in recipient institution premises in such a manner which can be said to be an expression of gratitude and public recognition of donors act of philanthropy and is not aimed at giving publicity to the donor in such manner that it would have be an advertising or promotion of his business then it can be said that there is no supply of service i repeat it can be said that there is no supply of service for a consideration which is donation remember the circular also specifies which can almost be considered as another condition that there should not be any obligation on part of the recipient institution to do anything that is to provide any service this can also be understood in simple terms that there should not be any contract drawn between the donor and the donee as a precondition for display of the former's name against the donation so given. Thus, to summarize, if all the following three conditions are met, there is no GST liability on such donation. First, the gift or the donation is to be made to a religious or charitable organization. Second, the payment is made in the nature of a gift or donation. And the last, the purpose should be philanthropic and not advertisement. The display should be more out of gratitude rather than as a precondition to a contract. In our opinion too, this circular was a much needed one and have clarified the doubts regarding applicability of GST on donations when there is display of names of the donors by charitable and religious organizations. In fact, sponsorship money paid by the donors to various charitable organizations are of the same nature and their names are usually displayed in the events with the intention of conveying gratitude for helping the institution organizing the event and not with the intention to showcase their business. Usually, the recipient institution must have ended up paying GST on reverse charge mechanism as applicable in case of sponsorship services. But after this circular, it has been clarified that in relation to the charitable organization, such sponsorship income is not a service and thus GST is not leviable. I hope we have been able to provide more insight and clarity on this circular. For more such updates and tutorials, keep tuned to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe it and put your notifications on. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. Thank you.